The art style we're going to learn for this quarter is making use of patterns in art. We see patterns on everything. Walls, blankets, pillows, clothes, bags. But we don't appreciate them as an element of art because they are things that we see all the time. There are many artists that make use of patterns to enhance their artworks, make them look more unique and more detailed. But first, let's define what exactly patterns are and how we're going to make use of them in an artwork. Patterns in art are repeating designs of shapes and lines. Patterns are used to create detail and decoration, or even texture, in an artwork. Since art is a way for us to communicate and express ourselves, the use of patterns can help us communicate and express the details in the images we draw, especially when it comes to texture. Texture is an important art element because it helps us visualize how an object feels by adding lines, shapes, and little details to an object, similar to patterns. Here's how we can incorporate the use of patterns to make textures come alive in an artwork. When we figure out what patterns to use to form texture, think about the texture of the original object. Then, think about how you can resemble that texture with lines, shapes, repeating designs, and color. For example, let's try to draw a still life artwork or objects that don't move. Most still life artworks are of fruits and vases. So let's try that here. I'll start out by sketching my objects as you normally would start a drawing. Remember that in art, everything is about observing and analyzing. So think about what objects you can draw that have different textures. Now analyze by thinking about the patterns you can make or design that are similar to the object's texture. Let's take this orange for an example. An orange has little dots on it. So here are the different patterns I thought of to resemble an orange. Different size circles and dots, overlapping circles, or even lines like this that look similar to the inside of an orange. You can still maximize your creativity by thinking of different designs. Let's take another example. This time, let's try a landscape. Mountains can be rough, but they can also look grassy. For a rough texture, we can create different styles of lines on the mountain like this. For a grassy texture, we can add softer, curvier lines and dots. See the difference between the two mountains? This kind of style of art is popular among artists like Yayoi Kusama and Gustav Klimt. Here are some examples of their artworks. The beauty of pattern making is that there are never-ending styles that are out there. There will always be a new pattern, a new style, and a new combination that you can explore. And your final outcome will always be a unique one, different from everyone else's. So enjoy the process of making your own patterns. That's all for today, everyone. I hope that despite feeling under the weather or experiencing the effects of this pandemic, we can still find beauty in the little, simple things. With God as our original and greatest artist of all time, we know that all things will work together for His greater purpose. God bless you, everyone. Stay safe and stay creative.